Hey, there you are. The stud walker out in the shop. Well, today, what do you say we uh, make a whirly gig? I've been a. Uh, let me get the camera here. Uh, uh, Deb Clandenings. I hope I pronounced that right. She has a, a nice whirly gig called Donkey Sue or something like that. Anyway, it's a donkey is actually kicking a little ball that she's holding and and I was anyway I want to do something like that I kind of wanted to have the donkey kick the ball like up in the air and then it would come back down because I had a weight on it or something anyway I'm not quite sure exactly how I'm gonna have to experiment with that <clears throat> but the other thing yet that I wanted to talk about was how <laughs> I like to make uh, my whirly gigs you know even if it's they're just silhouettes you can <laughs> still do quite a bit of carving on these things and uh, that's kind of how I started got carving is that I wanted to just round off all these edges a bit so they're not so square so I started doing that <laughs> and then I uh, thought oh it'd be nice to know how to carve a face a little better and you know so anyway one thing leads to another but uh if you don't think of yourself as a carver well that's okay <coughs> you could just get started by uh rounding off the edges on the on your pieces here so anyway I think on this, on the platform, this is 27 inches long. This is all from Anders Lund's books, I should mention, of course. Um, he is the god of whirly gigs, in my opinion. <laughs> so anyway, at least one of them. So, I got all the dimensions out, out of his book. Well, I got this all laid out. The base. It's 27 inches long. It's a. Uh, I got two inches here. This thing is about four inches long. And I think that's it's two inches. Yeah, it's, it's two inches there. So there's your platform. I think I'll cut it all out on the bandsaw. Sometimes I cut it part way on the table saw, but I'm not going to mess with it today. You end up <laughs> always getting saw marks where you don't want them. Even when you stop way before you think you should. Anyway. I'll cut that out now. Well, <laughs> I had to go back to my tried and true method. I tried to use the router to cut a, a groove in there, but <laughs> see, it didn't work very well. So I went back to what I know. Anyway. <laughs> That helps a little bit. That fits right in there like that. But uh, first, I'm going to run this through the router and uh, round that over with the router all the way around. So, let's see how that works. <laughs> well, I get the platform all routed out. And now. I'm going to take my rasp and give it a good working over and then I'll start out with some 60 grit sandpaper and work my way up to at least 220. If I'm feeling frisky I might go up to 400. We'll see. There you are. <clears throat> well, my philosophy on the Whirly Gigs is make them as fast as I possibly can but rather to try to make them 
as best I can. <clears throat> not because whirly gigs are important. Because whirly gigs are not important. What is important is that how you do one thing is how you do everything. <clears throat> so, it may just be a whirly gig. But that doesn't mean that it can't be something special. And even if it's just a silhouette you would have did, which is what we're making here, you can still do a nice job. You have to learn to savor your work. So much you get caught up and you want to finish the job and but you gotta learn how to stay in the moment. Savor it. Savor all this sanding. All the repetitive and menial menial of work. Then it becomes sweet. Anyway, I'm on 150 grit right now. It's looking pretty good. Well, I got this. <laughs> I got this thing all sanded up. Get a good look at it. Right now I'm working on this thing. I did a bit of carving on it to try to get it rounded over. And now I'm using the this rasp thing to get it all nice and rounded over. So anyway, I'll keep working on that. Well, here's what it looks like after I went over it with that rasp. And I'll start out with 60 grit. I'll go 100, 150, 220. <laughs> and if I'm feeling frisky, I might go up to 400. Anyway. That's not what it looks like. Okay. There it is after about an hour of sanding. It's not perfect. I'm, I got a little impatient. But it should be good enough. Well, I managed to get a, a fair amount of carving in on this silhouette. I got a little bit of a face on her. <laughs> I couldn't get too detailed, but not too bad. Okay. I'm going to sand it all down now. <laughs> well, I got the figure all sanded up. Let me get the best light in there. I didn't do a very good job of sanding because I <laughs> I guess I'm getting tired or something. Anyway, that'll be it for this episode. Next up, we'll uh, drill some holes and put it all together. Maybe even paint it. I'm not sure. We'll see. Of course, we've got to get it working too. So, lots of fun stuff to come. Hope this uh, video has been of some use and I'll see you down the trail.